much indeed. Um, he's not really talking about um, the uh, the tax increases as such, but clearly this uh, freezing of the allowance rates and, and what we call fiscal drag, it, it literally is going to drag more people into paying more tax. Yeah, absolutely. These are stealth tax rises that allow the Chancellor to claim that he hasn't broken a manifesto commitment, which actually will end up dragging millions more people into tax. Every single pay rise that people see over the coming years will be eroded by inflation, but also be eroded by the fact that these thresholds have been frozen and that money will be going straight into the back pocket of the Treasury. Painful as um, we see that the expected inflation figures will come down perhaps quite sharply next year. That means that that effect of the fiscal drag is not going to be quite as painful. Well, we can certainly hope so, but I think nevertheless what we have seen today is a statement that was only going to prolong the cost of government crisis. The Chancellor has asked for extraordinary sacrifices from taxpayers up and down the country and is asking for very, very little from the public sector bosses, which for years and years and years have been wasting huge amounts of money. We're seeing very, very little about how exactly spending is going to be brought under control and indeed all the difficult decisions are being delayed for years. Do you think, I mean, that's a political decision, we assume, so that basically uh, the pain won't be felt perhaps until after the next general election in two years' time? Well, political decision or not, we all know who's going to be balancing the books and it's going to be the taxpayers. It's going to be people who are going to be paying more council tax because council tax will now be allowed to go up to 5%, which will mean that uh, councils who are wasting money can dodge democracy. It will be those that are dragged into lower thresholds. It will be the businesses that are having to pay higher national insurance contributions. And it's really, really going to be across the board. Anybody that pays tax is going to be helping to pay for that huge amount of waste that we know exists in the public sector. What, what's your reaction to the fact that the, the higher rate now, the 45%, will kick in at around about 125,000 instead of 150,000 pound annual salary? I mean, is it right that the uh, better off bear uh, a, a greater burden, a greater debt burden? Well, inevitably, the better off do pay a higher debt burden. The top 1% pay 27% of income tax, more or less, in this country. So they already do so. And by reducing the top rate, you're just going to discourage entrepreneurship. But, I mean, even more worrying is the freezing the thresholds at the 50 grand and the 12 and a half grand. That 50 grand level is now the upper salaries for nurses, police officers and teachers. And they're now going to be dragged into paying yet more and more tax. And then at that 12 and a half thousand pound level, you have people on incredibly low incomes. And the only tax cut that they see year on year generally is the fact that that threshold goes up and that that's now not going to be the case so it's really going to be painful for everybody the middle middle earners and, and middle britain of course and then of course the other thing is the windfall tax it is there going up to 35 percent on energy profits and the electricity generators as well being taxed i mean do you welcome the fact that those uh, commercial entities are, are bearing the burden too uh, no, we don't. I mean, certainly you can understand why people look at these huge profits that energy companies have made and, and think it could be right picking for a, a, a bit more money to the Treasury. But ultimately, energy companies, they have a very cyclical revenue rate. They make losses some year, profits other years. And this is just going to discourage the investment that we need energy firms to be making into the various renewable energies, nuclear and whatever it is that will help us ensure that we get out of this energy crisis in the long term. Thank you for your reaction uh, down there at Westminster. Uh, as we